name's Tony Mann. I'm gonna show you one of the cars out of my collection, give you a little background on it, a little history of it. I grew up around race cars. My whole life, I was around race cars. From as little as I can remember, I was at the shop around my father's feet. I would cry to go to work with him just so I could be around the race cars as a kid. And my dad made a living building race cars, drag racing. This is one of the cars that he bought new in 1958. Drove the car in the street for a couple of years. Did a little street racing, which was illegal. But back in the 50s and early 60s, there was big money in it. He made a business out of doing it. Fixing other people's cars, you go out there and beat them, and then they want to come and beat you, so they got to spend more money to beat you. This car was in the early 60s, switched over to go NHRA drag racing in the, in the gas classes, with a blower on it back then. It wasn't quite as pretty as it is now, but over the years, the car was sold. My dad's interest went towards other cars, other type of big block Chevys and other cars that he got away from this. And back in the early 80s, he bought the car back, put the car in a garage, couldn't quite figure out what he was going to do with it at that time. But then he decided he wanted to go back to the way it was so he can have his memories of the 50s. We restored the whole interior back to the way it would have been in 1958. Really, there's nothing modified in here other than a couple extra gauges. The real nice part about this car, it's got a convertible top. We have the hard top for it as well. It's a really cool car to drive. Running down the street, you stop at a traffic light, people have to take a double take when they hear it coming and they look at you and they, what is that? And you get thumbs up from everybody you drive by. When this car was new, it actually had a fuel engine in it, which my dad took out, put carburetors on it through the years. Then he went to a blower setup. Now this is not exactly the same blower we had back in the 60s, because at that time we had mechanical fuel injection, which is kind of hard to drive on a street right now, and we kind of drive the car on the street a little bit here and there. Basically, we went to a couple of Holley carburetors to make it a little more drivable on the street. It took us probably about five years to put the car back to where it is right now. Unfortunately, in the meantime, after the car was done, my dad passed away and I finished it up myself. This is one of those cars that's gonna be a tribute to my dad. I'll never sell it. People have asked me how much I want for it. It's not for sale. It'll be handed down to my son, and hopefully my son will be able to keep it and give it to his son. It'll be one of those things that stays in the family. Keep memory of my dad alive. The purists were probably not real happy with my dad doing this to this kind of car, but he figured it was already a race car, and he wanted it back to the way he had it back in the early 60s. And there it is.